Hello, welcome back. My name is Yenja, and I'm a memory champion. Yenja Wintersoul is a grand master of memory. And memory expert, and memory consultant, and memory coach. But you probably already knew that if you're subscribed, so if you're not, please subscribe to see more of these videos and help me pay my bills. By the end of today's video, I want you to have some proper tools to be able to know how to commit things into your long-term memory. Now, I know in every video, I have some kind of fun new thing for you to memorize. At first, it feels very amazing to memorize an entire calendar calendar year in a couple of minutes or a bunch of important historical dates in a few minutes, but then after a few days, it feels like it's starting to slip. Now, why is that? Turns out that we need to be exposed to information with spaced intervals to be able to retain it for the long term, which means we can't just look at information once and then think that we can remember it forever. The secret to long term memory is this spaced repetition. It's called spaced repetition because you space out the times that you repeat the information so that it's always a little bit top of mind and just before you're about to forget it, you remind yourself, you remind your brain, this is actually information that I want to have in the long term. So for example, if you learn 10 Mandarin Chinese words in one hour, then for some people, the best interval to repeat it at, the space in between the study sessions should be maybe 10 minutes or an hour. And then after that, if it feels like you know it and you've ingrained it deeper into your mind, you can take a longer space and study it the next day. And then after that, maybe a week from then. And then after that, maybe a month from then. The most important key here is that you space out your study sessions and don't try to cram as much as possible. A lot of apps and a lot of software will argue for the fact that spacing in very specific intervals is really important. And a lot of memory coaches will tell you this as well. In my experience, it depends entirely on who you are, what information you are coming into this new information with, meaning what knowledge do you have beforehand. And it all depends on the amount of information you're absorbing. For example, learning a hundred new Brazilian Portuguese words, for me, might not feel as information dense as for somebody who only speaks Japanese as a first and only language. So it depends on the amount of information that you're consuming, and it also depends on a lot of other factors like your sleep schedule and how much you're eating and all of that lifestyle stuff. But the most important key is that you repeat it after a certain amount of time. And generally, people say that you want to space it out longer and longer. You want to have the repetitions be longer and longer in time every time you repeat it. So again, if the first repetition is 10 minutes after you first learned it, maybe it's an hour after that for the second repetition, and maybe it's a day after that for the third repetition, and so on and so forth. There are lots of graphs if you search for spaced repetition intervals, and there are also lots of software so that you can be able to do this by yourself. A lot of people ask me, how do I keep track of when the next time I'm supposed to repeat this is? And the simple truth is that it helps to have tools like software and spaced repetition software and spaced repetition flashcard software in particular to be able to remind yourself when you need to repeat the information. Another solution is to set alarms, but if you're studying a lot like some of us do, then it might get a little bit insane to have 12 alarms going off every single day. So experiment for yourself and see what works for you. It is going to be different depending on a lot of factors. And this is the secret to long-term memory and probably whenever you do a memory exercise with me for something that you want to commit to your long-term memory, you can practice this and you can put it into one of your flashcard repetition softwares and you can see if you're better able to remember things for the long-term when you space out your study sessions and space out when you repeat the information. So I hope this has been helpful. Tell me in the comments what you took away from this and I hope you're subscribed and if you're not, please subscribe right now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you want. Talk to me in the comments. I always try to read every single comment. I'm so happy and so grateful you watched until the end of this video. It is a true testament to what a great attention span that you have, which is super rare nowadays. And see you next week. Bye!